looking for the sports channel gap. Alrighty, well, we have a quick Friday recap to go over. It was a skimpy day day trading, but Starbucks saved the day yet again. Small little green day, plus $90 on the uh, Thicker Swim account, and then plus about 113 climbing a little bit, so it might be a little bit higher, but who cares? That's not as important as the trades. So let's get into our trades. Our first trade of the day was on Roku, and boy, was this annoying. I got wicked in right over 190. We're, we're just starting to break through the all-time highs and gapping up and coming up. We had this nice good consolidation. Look at this. You could draw a ruler over this. And I put in a buy stop over 190.28 and it just triggered me in right there, right here at the top of this little wick. It just barely broke. And then boom, quick slam down. I had about a three point stop loss. I really, I couldn't get out that fast at underneath 289.24. That was a quick wick uh, move down. And boom, right underneath 287.50, I had come out of uh, Roku for minus a hundred. It was a minus 187 dollars right away in, in just two minutes. Same day volatile option, just one contract. But then Roku started to prove itself. It came up and then started to do a bull flag. And we went ahead and get, got long just as we broke out of the bull flag over 292.30. And then boom, we nailed the high of the day. 294.50, I think was my exit. Really good trade. And that made back for the $180 loss plus $53. So you do the math. Um, pretty good. Uh, nice, good, you know, over 200 maybe $300 profit on that um, next uh, call trade. So that was Roku. Our next trade of the day was on Starbucks, SPUX. And Starbucks got a nice, good upgrade. We got this nice, good pull down. And then we got this uh, little bull flag right here. Let's clear the drawing set. Do you see the bull flag as I'm clearing it? Watch the bull flag. Here we go. Move up, size consolidation. I went ahead and got long on Starbucks, just over 101.43, right about there. Stop was just beneath 101.20, you know, just around this area. Stop held. Boom, we got this nice, good push up. Nice, good push up. I went ahead and took my profits right at about 102.20. Exited one of my swing trades right at about 102.40. And um, I had another swing trade where we exited Starbucks right at about 102.80. And then we reloaded with a call debit spread on Starbucks right as we broke out of this little bear flag consolidation. Nice move on Starbucks. And that the debit spread, we have the right to buy it at 104, but we have to sell it at 106. And that expires in two weeks. We paid $64 for it. It's up a little bit, so now it's at 67. So Starbucks, nice good revenue trade. Starbucks keeps on paying, and it really helped us on the swing trading account. I mean, if we check out check it out, uh, Starbucks, where's our good old Starbucks? Just one contract made us an extra extra $150. We um, we closed this out for 3.2, and uh, we bought it for about $100. So a really good trade on uh, Starbucks over there. And then we also had another trade on CGC, CGC, CGC. This was a dud all day, super annoying, uh, but whatever, it happens. Um, I wanted to get long on this through 29. I went ahead and got one feeler contract at 29.30, got the dip down, got the rip up. I added over 29.20, got a really good push up. I was targeting about the 29.75 area because that would cover the risk, you know, risking about 30 cents. I wanted to at least get like 60 cents. Couldn't really do it. Um, and, you know, uh, CGC started to pull down and we had to stop out underneath 28.91. Uh, the second contract I held just a little bit longer just to really let CGC work out. But then look, we put in the move down, sideways consolidation, a little bit counter trend. That's a bear flag. Boom, we got the breakdown. Okay, volume. I just had a stop order in, stop order triggered. So CGC, lots of risk, especially in those same day options, but minus $108 on CGC. And our last trade of the day was on Uber, U-B-E-R, and Uber. I went ahead and got long. First thing in the morning, uh, over 53.20, I posted this. I said it was my favorite. Got a nice good push up. Didn't take my profits because I really wanted a larger position. Then boom, we got the pull down. Stop just barely held. Stop was just underneath 52.94. Stop held. Nice sideways consolidation. Look at the breakout over 53.70 right here. And I went ahead and added to Uber right there. Got a nice move up. Didn't break the high of the day. Lower high pivot. Slammed down. Stopped out of one contract. Moved up. Tried to break it again. Uh, that's that, that, that's a triple top. Uber is notorious, I guess, for triple tops. Then we break down, and then we I went ahead and got flat on Uber just underneath 5336, just to watch Uber rip up higher later in the day. That's okay. Uber is a small little expense trade of minus $23. So that wraps up the trading today. If you want to see the swing account while we're swinging, Apple, um, AMD on the uh, Google, 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 doing good. Um, a few shares of Roku, no big deal. Um, and then a uh, few shares of Square, no big deal. Uh, Tilray, we were able to catch a ghetto spread. We bought the 9.5 call. But then once we we're up, we sold the 10.5 call. Another little spread. And we are still swinging out the Tesla. Tesla call debit spread. Tesla 1615, 620. 
Alrighty, that wraps up a quick Friday. Uh, you know, small little green day, kicking off, finishing off an amazing week. You know, two thousand dollars on Wednesday. Um, you know, hundred dollars yesterday. Minus three sixty on Tuesday. Minus three sixty on Tuesday. But we also made five hundred on Monday. So really good week. Lots of weenie members had a great week. Uh, Let's get ready for next week and let's do it again and let's see if we can push it even higher and minimize our risk even more. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. See ya.